Good morning, everyone. Happy Friday. I am back in my sewing room early this morning. I'm still in my pajamas. And I'm making good progress on my patchwork pouches. They are almost done. I'm just trimming all of the corners so that they turn out nicely when you flip them inside out. And I am watching a class, an online class, for um, a mini book. So I'm really trying to look for some inspiration to get my journaling going. And here is my beautiful journal that I received the other day. And it is so beautiful, I cannot wait. But I wanted to just kind of get some inspiration and I am doing that on a class or in a class that is on studiocalico.com. This particular class is to make a mini book, but the teacher of this class is Tina from Life Love Paper. And I really love her style. I follow her on Instagram and I saw that she was doing this class here. So I am just getting a little bit of inspiration from her this morning while I am finishing up these pouches. I am so excited that I am done all of the patchwork pouches that I set out to do. I really love these fabrics and some of them are going to be for teachers and for a couple of friends I'm sending packages to and also a friend who wanted to do the same so I made a few for her. And I have a package ready to go out today that I've been rushing to get out. And then because I'm sore, I just slathered this all over my neck. I got this on Amazon and I really, really like it. It really helps muscle pains. So I have that on and I'm also very happy that Glenn just went out to pick up my favorite soup lunch. Hey everyone, I was just going to check in and I really wanted to share something with you. So yesterday I was having not the best day, just mentally I was tired and kind of cranky and my lists were overwhelming me. It ended up just, you know, I ended up with a headache last night and not feeling good about the day at all. So I went to bed last night thinking in my mind that today would be different. Today I was going to start out differently and um, there's a saying that I remind myself to use once in a while that is start as you mean to end and I heard that from my husband's Nana who has long passed away now and dearly missed but I was lucky enough to know her and meet her when I was 16 and knew her for many years and she used to tell me that all the time she would say Sandra start as you mean to end you know, in a job, in relationships, with your day-to-day. -day. And I didn't quite understand what it meant when I was a teenager, but as I've gotten older, it's become kind of one of my mantras for days where I'm just in a funk. So I woke up today and I told myself that I was gonna start the day as I meant to end it. So I was on schedule with meals and drinking more water and just went through my morning with more purpose and I ignored most of the piles of junk around the house because it's the end of the week and it's getting messy again. But I ignored all the distractions and I just told myself to go forward and do one or two things that are really priority and I did. So I did my patchwork pouches, I packed up a package to send out, to send out had a good lunch with Glenn, and I feel so much better. So I just wanted to share that. I don't know if it will mean anything to anyone else, but I love the saying. I use it as often as I can remember it. And I just really started my day as I meant to end it today. So I wanted to share.
Is this the friends? Yeah. Awesome. Monica. Phoebe. Ross. I forget their names actually. Rachel. Rachel, yeah, yeah, Rachel. Chandler. Chandler. How you doing?